I believe that if you run an online arbitrage business, you should leave the US because you have no reason to stay in the US to run your business, even if you are American. As you may notice, and as I've said it in previous videos, I'm actually not in the US right now. You can see around me, it does not look like the US, right? And I don't know because the background is maybe a little bit blurred, right? But I'm actually in Ivory Coast right now. And this is one of the places that I'm thinking of moving to run my business and I'm going to tell you why I believe that you should leave the US especially if you run an online business such as an Amazon business. If you don't know me, my name is Chris Mangus. I release daily videos on this channel about selling on Amazon. So if you are new, subscribe and like this video so you get recommended more videos. I also offer coaching and I have new group mentorship that I'm opening. There are new seats available, alright? I just closed down two new groups. I'm going to open one more. All right, so if you want to join up on a call with me so we can talk, I can get to know you and see if you are a fit. It's $99 a month. You get access to me 24 7 to answer your questions, all that stuff. You have my phone number, and also we meet with other sellers once a week to talk about and where, you know, in on calls where I share all the stuff that uh, made me successful on Amazon and all the secret sauce, if I might say. So, as I said, you know, I'm scouting right now for places to live in potentially because I run online businesses that do not necessarily require my presence in the US. And if you've never really left the US, you know, the US is a great place for business. I'm not taking anything away from that. It's one of the best, the best places in the world to run a business. However, you do not need to be in the US anymore to run the business in the US. And the US is not going to be the place that is going to offer you the best standards of living uh, for your money and it just it's not a place that is going to make you the most happy of course except if you want to stay close to your family if you grew up over there and all that stuff but at one point you need to grow up and start, start, start being like that like you can come back a couple of months a, a year to actually do that but you absolutely do not need to stay in the US to run an online business it does not make sense it doesn't make sense financially because you're going to pay a ton of money for stuff that uh, just you know to 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 to, for mediocre services, and I'm going to say for mediocre services, where you know, if, if you take um, a business like a place, I'm sorry, like right there in, in the Ivory Coast, with the same amount of money that you're gonna pay to get uh, not even a luxury condo, let's just take a random apartment in the US, you can have a great place here, you can have people working for you to serve you, to take care of the house, to um, you know. Uh, clean the house to make you food all that stuff for a really low amount of money the amount of money that is going to cost you to live like a king in a place like this is actually crazy and it's stuff that you know uh, you will need billions millions of dollars if you want to live like this in the US and that you do not necessarily need uh, if you go overseas right in specific places there's a lot of places like this one that are actually um, you'd be surprised because I know that in the US you have a really 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 bad view of Africa uh, Ivory Coast is actually a super nice place and it's not the only places that you can go to there's other places like Thailand you know people go to Bangkok uh, people go to Bali people go to places like these and uh, the reason why is because you're paying too much in the US to not receive enough all right and this is just the truth also there's a ton of business opportunities of physical business opportunities in these places okay especially in countries that needs to be developed right these countries are developed but everything is not done like everything is already done in the u.s you want to be a big industrialist if you want to be uh you know it's it's the the barrier of entry is way higher than it is in these countries right so the reason why you should actually move and you should actually travel overseas and see it from yourself and see the opportunities is not only because of the cost of living right and so that way by the way if you want to go full-time, you don't need to make as much money as you need to in the US. And so for a lot of you guys, you know, wanted to go full-time with their online business, whether it is Amazon FBA or all that stuff, you can do it way sooner if you decide to leave the US, right? And don't be scared about, like, don't stop thinking about all this bullshit, 401ks, all this bullshit. It's not worth it. It doesn't mean nothing. Like, it, it doesn't mean anything. And so, by moving to another place, you can actually save more money, you invest more money into your business and start other business, start other local businesses, right? That you, and not just local businesses, but like big time businesses, big industry level businesses um, with way less money. If you have $1 million in liquid, you can become a huge industrialist, like you can become Rockefeller in these countries, right? 
uh, and start industries and start doing big moves that you're never going to be able to do in the US except if you're a billionaire, you know? So that's some of the reasons. And you know, either if you want to push it further or if you just want to live an easy life by paying less money, I think those two options, um, I mean, it does not matter. Like, you should actually move. You should actually move. It does not matter if it's one or the other, you know? Because as I said, you can become an industrialist with less money or you can just live more comfortably with less money and then reinvest more money into your business or save more money on the side instead of paying what you would have to pay in the US. The US is a great place to be at if you need to be in it. If you don't need to be in the US for work, you don't need to be in the US for business, you should absolutely be. Alright? It's absolutely not. It's the, the only reason why the US is a great country is just for business. It's just if you are there for business. Except from that, uh, it's not the country where you're going to be the more, the more happy. It's not the country where you're going to be the, more, the most healthy. It's not, it's far away from number one in all those categories that actually matter. Yes, the economy is booming, but you do not need to be in the US to take advantage of that. If you do Amazon FBA, if you do online arbitrage, and you want to do it while being outside of the US, get into my mentorships, there's a lot of the stuff that we talk about, if it's something that interests you, all right? Or just hop on a one-on-one -on -one call with me, or just watch my videos, I talk about it. But if you have specific questions, all that stuff, you know, you can just get on my mentorship. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like, do all that YouTube stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Thank you for watching.